so this chapter is uh, concerned about angles and lines and here i will discuss about intersecting lines it is uh, very important for the student to know about some basic geometrical uh, uh, rules and theories about the lines angles and here i will discuss about adjacent angles what are these similarly linear pair bisector of angle vertical opposite angles what are these i will show you with the help of the examples and illustrations right first of all here i am showing adjacent angle right suppose uh, first of all the it is a adjacent angle i am about to explain it adjacent angle so first of all uh, in adjacent adjacent angle what are the conditions there must be a common vertex if it is the vertex o common vertex right this is the vertex of the these two angle angle a o b and a o c right so the angle a o b and angle b o c have a common vertex o point number 2 they have one common uh, they have uh, exactly one common arm here o b is the common arm for this two angle exactly common arm common arm here i have forgot to write vertex okay common vertex that is point o common arm that is o b is the arm of angle a o b and o b is again the arm of angle b o c clear now Mm, the other two arms point number 3 is the other two arms will be opposite sides that means here the other arms is oa and oc eh yeah. will be uh, the other of the two angles are on the opposite side of the common arm so this is the common arm and the two arms that means oa and oc will be on the opposite side of the common arm so if it is in this direction if it is in this direction so second arm will be opposite to this direction then it is opposite opposite right and uh, angle that means opposite opposite other arms right other arm right four number is that the angle are adjacent so what are the adjacent angles angle a o b and angle b o c are called adjacent to each other so for adjacent angle this condition must be uh, suggested second linear pair linear pair uh, after the adjacent angle i am here telling about the linear pair the two angle here angle a o c and angle c o b will be linear if the magnitude of these two angle will be equal to 180 degree here the magnitude of the angle aoc is 120 degree and that of angle cob is 60 degree and it is equal to 180 degree so this two angle aoc and cob is linear pair right if you change this line this uh, line oc you very here and in this direction then in all conditions you will find that if i uh, very 
uh, change the angle of the uh, 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 line of the OC to this place, right? Even then it is not clear. Here I change the position of OC. So here I am telling about the bisector of an angle. Now I will tell the line OP bisectors Y. Let angle A O D. In angle O D, if I will tell O D uh, O P is a bisector, then A O P that means angle A O P and angle P O D these two angles must be adjacent angle first and the magnitude of angle A O P must be equal to angle P O D then the line O P will be bisector of the angle A O D that means O P is the bisector of angle A O D that means the this line O P is equally dividing the angle A O D in two equal parts example if this is 30 degree then this is also 30 degree so angle O D A O D is 60 degree total and line O P is bisecting this into two equal parts that means 30 degree and 30 degree right here is next vertically opposite angle if two line suppose this line and this line intersect each other at point O then the angles formed at point O are called vertically opposite angle here I am saying A, B and C, D. Two lines are intersecting each other at point O. Then this angle A, O, C and B, O, D will be vertically opposite and vertically opposite. opposite and also these two angle will not be adjacent will not be adjacent to each other similarly this angle AOD but that means this angle will be vertically opposite to angle COD that means first pair first uh, vertical opposite pair will be angle a O C uh, and angle B O D. Second one angle A O D and angle B O C or C O D are vertically opposite. This angle not the adjacent angle. These two angles also are not the adjacent angle. Okay. So this is the condition of the vertically opposite angle. Clear?